So first I'm going to import some example data. So when you install DiveOffice, this data is automatically installed. It is uh, in the DiveOffice program folder and under the ex examples. And in this case, I go for the uh, Waterloo data set. Uh, and I open those two files. And I close this. And so this is my diaper data. And then here is my barometric data. So a good check usually is to verify that your barometric data is within a sensible range. And in this case, it is between roughly 1,000 and 1,050 uh, centimeters of water, which is uh, OK for where we are here. So this is my diver data. And you can see here it ranges from uh, roughly 1,690 to 1,715 centimeters of water. So when I make a first attempt to compensate this data, I'll uh, right-click on the time series, and I'll select the Compensate option here. And now, when I just choose the, the standard option, water column above diver, and I hit the Compensate button, it will tell me that it failed. And in the details of the compensation log, it will tell me why it failed. It says that I didn't assign a barometer to the time series, or to the, to the diver. If I close this and I'll correct, then I click on the, the location name and then I'll select my barrel from the list that's under the barometer uh, monitoring point names list. <coughs> so now if I try it again and I use this one, um, and I use the, the cable length. I have two options here, cable length for manual measurement. I'll stick to cable length for now. And again, it will tell me that I it couldn't compensate because I didn't define the cable length. I'll close this. I'll go back to my settings, and I enter a cable length. So I enter 2,000 centimeters as the cable length. And now I try again. And now the compensation worked. So it said that it was fully compensated, meaning that the uh, barometric data overlapped all of the diver data. So I can close here. And now I can see uh, my compensated data in the top of the graph. I'll hide the temperature, because that's not important right now. And I'll. Uh, uh, check whether my data is, is correct or not. So um, we see here that the barometer, that the diver data is around 1,700 uh, centimeters. And if we subtract the barometric data, then we end up with a water column of roughly 1,000 centimeters. Uh, a water column of r roughly 17, uh, 700 centimeters, and I put entered the cable length of 2,000, so 2,000 minus 700 is roughly 1,300 centimeters, which is uh, consistent with the values that I see here. So if you use this method, then the water level should be mirrored roughly with the pressure, because if the pressure goes down, it means that there's uh, less water, so the, the water level drops. So this is basically all there is to, to barometric compensation.